I would go back to 1985 so I could meet LeVar Burton again, like when I was on Reading Rainbow. Um, I would travel back in time to 1985, um, where I would watch um, LeVar Burton talk to uh, Mr. Geyer. Um, I remember him as Geordi from Star Trek, but I guess he remembers him from um, Reading Rainbow. I would watch the two of them together talk. I'd uh, watch LeVar open a book and read to him, and watch Mr. Geyer read the book and point out words to him. I think that would be really fun. I would go back to 1976 in Ephrata, because then I could get my groove on back in the disco era. Yeah. I would go back and relive 1980 to 1999, the largest bull market run in the 20th century. I would want to go back to the Garden of Eden and be able to commune with God every day. Um, last Monday was really good. I got to play with my kids and stuff, so... Last Monday would be good, yeah. I think I'd go back to there. Um, I would go back to 1994, and I would go to Seattle. And in Seattle, I would go to Kurt Cobain's house. And right before he was about to either be murdered or commit suicide, I would go in and grab the shotgun and talk to him. And I'd convince him either not to kill himself, or if he was murdered, I'd stop the intruder, and I'd save the day. And then I'd probably just hang out with the band, because I'd be a hero. And uh, that's it. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Madison. And I'm Becca. Today is Friday, May 12th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. To all prom goers, the big night has finally arrived. EHS Junior and Senior Prom, Beauty and the Beast, takes place tomorrow night at the Inn at Reading. Have a great time, but remember this is a school event, so all school rules still apply. Be sure to bring your ticket registration is just inside the main doors. Seating is finalized and is posted on Schoology, so check it out. Please be advised the Cloister will be open to students wanting to have their prom pictures taken there, so stop on by. Attention AP Lit and Comp students for the upcoming year. We will have an informational meeting May 23rd at 2.45 in room 106. Mrs. Grable will discuss course expectations and to assign the summer work. If you cannot attend, make sure you see Mrs. Grable. Attention senior class, if you have baby pictures that you'd like to have in the slideshow at Baculated, please send them to Lexi Hirschberger, Anna Gockley, or Abby Burkholder. The last day to submit is May 19th. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of the three. Students taking AP ex exams, remember to check the AP testing schedule posted in AP classrooms and in Schoology. For lunch today, we have macaroni and cheese with a whole grain roll, breaded chicken patty on a whole grain roll, the McFredo burger, ham turkey cheese flatbread, chicken Caesar salad, stewed tomato sauce, seasoned green beans, fresh cauliflower with dip, applesauce, fresh fruit, or slushy. Now over to David with sports. Uh -huh. Century, doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it, screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. Attention, all ninth grade and tenth grade and eleventh grade athletes. This year's sports signups will be done through Schoology. If you haven't noticed yet, the athletic department has posted a sign-up link on your on your class of group on Schoology. If you have any questions, please stop by the athletic office and stop by to pick out handouts for your spot. Signups will be available until May 19th. Anyone that is interested in playing football next season be, but was unable to attend yesterday's informal meeting should see Coach Miller today in room 122. Our spring open gym start Monday. Attention girls interested in playing tennis this fall. We will begin practicing every Wednesday starting on May 17th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. at the high school course. Please contact Grace Del Valley with any questions Today, the track teams are off to the LLL League Championships at Hemfield. That's it for sports. Now back to the main desk. Attention juniors. Next Monday, May 15th, all juniors who are not involved with Keystone testing will be attending a junior class meeting in the auditorium that will cover important information about your upcoming senior year. 
You will report to homeroom at regular time and then be dismissed to the auditorium for the entire testing block. You will need your laptop, and if you have a cell phone, please bring it, and definitely bring a writing utensil. You may have 20 minutes to complete any work you may have. Attention students taking the upcoming Keystone exams. Please listen for the following code of conduct for test takers. Do listen to, read, and follow all directions given. Ask questions if you do not understand the directions. Read each question carefully, especially multiple choice items that ask for the best answer. Also, be sure to read any open-ended items and writing prompts carefully before responding. Be careful when marking your answers so that you do not skip spaces or fill in the wrong sections. Make sure to completely fill in the bubble for the answers you select and erase completely any answers you change. Keep your eyes on your own test. Try to answer each test item. Check that you have completed all the test items in the test section before closing your test booklet or submitting your final responses online. Report any suspected cheating to your teacher or principal. Do not bring notes with you to the test or bring any unapproved electronic devices such as cell phones, smartphones, or smart watches other than an approved calculator. Do not share a calculator with others. Use, do not use the bubbles in the answer booklet to either eliminate possible incorrect answers or possible correct answers. Mark only the bubble for the one correct answer you have chosen. Do not talk with others about questions on the test during or after the test. Students should be assured that they may discuss the testing process or issues or of concern with their parents slash guardians. Do not take notes about the test to share with others. Do not leave an online test session until the session is complete or until instructed to do so. That's our show for today. Have a great day, Ephrata.